High Center stands for Partners in Industry and Education, and so our mission is to bring those partners together. The vision and the mission of the Pi Center is to collaborate between education and industry and business so that we're all on the same page. We are excited about that collaboration so that when our students are ready, they will walk into the workforce or go on to a, a higher education. We believe in Bradley County that what makes the Pi Center unique or innovative is that we're bringing industry, education, and post-secondary all together under one roof. So this building is around 270,000 square feet. And within that, we have 32 different tenants that are multiple retail spaces, uh, post-secondaries, colleges, and TCATs, and our own school system programming and CTE. We don't know of another in Tennessee that does that, and we've, we've done a really good job in bringing all of our partners together. I really think the biggest impact is finally closing that gap between what education exists for and what industry and business exists for. So now we're pulling it together so that we can have a pipeline, not only for local industry and business, but a pipeline outside of the county as well. Uh, that's our biggest impact. It's a change in the way we do high school, and that's the biggest impact. Also, it allows our students that maybe would not have the resources, transportation or funding or a way to get to work-based learning to be able to uh, do post-secondary, to come and be here still under our umbrella, but get those services that uh, we have found doing our comprehensive local needs assessment that we cannot provide in just the typical 9-12 uh, classroom. One of the biggest lessons learned uh, from our standpoint in CTE is actually listening to your partners. What, what is it that our partner wants from us and each individual uh, industry, each individual uh, post-secondary, each individual program needs different things, but we're all in it for the same goal in moving students forward into a, a pipeline. I have a different perspective because part of my job uh, was to sell it because it was new, it was different, no one had ever done it before, so there was a lot of pushback on, you're taking this old building and trying to do what, you're, you're spending how much money? So it's that replication of this is our vision, this is what we are, so going out to civic organizations, uh, meeting with uh, city council, meeting with uh, local businesses, and just over and over and over again telling the story. And I think if I had to make that recommendation to, to anyone, it would be tell your story, but you're gonna have to continue to tell it over and over over and over again until it's just a common language. Now when someone says Pi Center, they go, oh yeah, this is what that is. Prior to that one, they would go, what are you doing? So it's that replication of the story that I think is the lesson we learned because when we're saturated with it and we know everything, we forget that the general public does not know. So that was our lesson is tell it over and over and over and over again until everybody's a part of the vision. Another lesson that we learned in doing this innovative model is believe in your vision yes. and stick with it. Because one of our best partners looked at Dr. Cash one day and said, I thought you were crazy. <laughs> I didn't think this would ever go. That's the but truth. he stuck with us and kept going because we didn't pitch a vision or we didn't pitch an idea and then back up from it. If you're going to do it, this is not for the faint hearted. Go forward and keep going forward. You have to be all in and it, it is work. It's a lot of work but the payoff is our students have a future a brighter future and they have skills that they'll take with them forever this pie center is going to keep growing and growing we actually just visited um, a junior achievement program just um, a few weeks ago and our next our next vision is to bring it down further and further right now we've built the pie center to accommodate our juniors and seniors with ready grad with work-based learning with all of the uh, all the components that go with that but our our goal is to push it down down down. We have a pie, pie to go STEM bus yeah. that will be going out to our uh, elementary and middle. And now we are we are really digging into what career exploration looks like and innovation looks like down further um, into our elementary school so that we can have them imagining and being creative all the way up. You know, early on when I started interviewing students and talking to students in my middle schools, I would say, what, what path do you want when you go to high school? 
They didn't understand what that meant. This allows us those innovative practices to dig down into the middle school and to expose early. But I will come back to, we've got big dreams and our partners even pitch more and more to us. We met with partners a couple of weeks ago and they were like, well, what about this? What about this? So the innovation can't just come from the school system. It has to come from the outside as well. You know, just to kind of close from my viewpoint is, celebrate the wins because our initial partner who did a pilot for us we met with them and said okay what's in it for you and he very definitely looked at us and said I hired four of the six people that I worked with these kids are now my employees that's my win it's a win for the students for the school system for the business and industry so it's providing sustainable jobs in a pipeline and that's a celebration it was our first big celebration and now they're coming more and more frequently to sum it all up, we are so excited. We are going to have our first set of real students here in just a, a few weeks. And so I just want to say thank you for the opportunity to have the Innovative High School Models Grant yes. to be able to do funding from Perkins Reserve and other things. I just want to thank the state for uh, helping us fund our dreams. And I would just say, think big. Don't think on a small scale, think big.